Just listen to this. Dozens of people showed up this morning to the grand opening of new apartments at the Brunswick Landing. These units were built specifically to house asylum seekers as they wait to receive their work permits, which can take months. There will be 60 apartments total here serving this purpose. 24 of them are ready now. State government will essentially pay the rent for two years. After that, the buildings will convert to market rate and affordable housing units. Some asylum seekers have already moved in and say this option of transitional housing is much better than living in a hotel or in a shelter. In hotel, uh, there's rules and regulations, and uh, in a shelter too, we have so many people, we share kitchen together, we share the uh, restroom together. This is a very unique solution to a very exciting opportunity in our state. We have thousands of folks coming to Maine who want to make Maine home. We're doing everything we can to uh, help that situation. Free rent for some migrants in Maine. Taxpayers there are footing the bill for new apartments built specifically for these newly arrived border crossers. Not only a free roof over their heads, they have at least, wait for it, two years worth of rent paid for. No wonder they want Donald Trump off the ballot in Maine. These people have lost their freaking mind. Free rent for two years? This is the most anti-American decision ever. But here's my question to you. What type of message do you think Democrats are sending to the rest of the world by doing this? Exactly. Lord help us. You let me know what you think about this in the comment section. God bless you. Catch you on the next one. Trump 2024. You can see the situation here in Lukeville behind us. We got well over 800 people waiting in line here after they crossed illegally overnight, waiting to be apprehended by Border Patrol. Once again, it's like deja vu from yesterday. You can see these guys are coming in from all over the world. A lot of African men, mostly single adult men here. Some of them were setting campfires overnight in the cold, camping out here, waiting to get taken into custody by Border Patrol. But CBP suits uh, sort is telling me in the last 24 hours in this Tucson, Arizona sector, there were almost 2,900 apprehensions and the Border Patrol facilities out here are currently running 200% of their capacity.